Okay, so I think that is the end of our webinar, and we still have 25 minutes, and I'm sure we have that much in questions, but uh, let me just, we'll now give some time for questions, and if you have questions, just uh, type those now. Okay, um, one question that, that came in is, what is the criteria for determining whether non-benefited INs and TLs will get the the one percent increase. The criteria is whether the agency wants to give it to them, and they have the budget for it. I think it's a discussion that uh, that managers, and we'll probably have to talk about this in in managers meeting if we're having if there's any questions about how we're going to um, determine that. But if the agency wants to give the INs and TLs the one percent increase, we'll process it for them. Like I said, we're not going to um, kind of be a, a budget steward or anything like that and, and, and telling them they can or they can't do it. If they have the budget and they want, to, want us to process the increase, then, then that's what we'll do. Okay, another question. Just want to make sure I understand if an, if an employee is reassigned or reclassified above the max but does not meet the criteria, they remain above the max and are not placed in longevity until they meet the criteria. That's correct. They, they just reside above the max. And they, they're not eligible to receive the 2.75 increase, will not move further within the max until something else happens that causes them to maybe come back into a position that has, that they're, when they're in the range. But when they hit that eight year mark, then they become, then, it, then the eligibility starts. Another question that came in, uh, what time, um, what times will uh, HRE be shutting down? I suppose I, I'd have to talk to Kay about the exact time that it will be shutting down. It probably won't, it's not going to shut down right at 11, but uh, we're probably not going to accept uh, right at 11 on June 21st, I mean, but um, the EPARs that aren't entered by that time will most likely need to be re-entered. But uh, if there are any problems with that, you'll need to coordinate with, with the ERIC and make sure that if you've got something that's happening that's causing you not to be able to enter an EPAR or something, then you need to coordinate that with, with the ERIC. We'll see if we can get uh, a little further information on that. Kim, uh, we have a, a question. What if we aren't aware of the need to, for an action until June 22nd, 2013? And that's why there's no way we're going to avoid having to do replacement and correction actions. It's inevitable. It's going to happen. Um, we just need to do our best to try and get that information in is by that date. Maybe in working with your customer agencies, talk to them about that. But we know things are going to come up. And, that are going to cause us to have to do correction. Okay, it says to clarify, if an action is effective June 22nd and we don't know about it until June 22nd, then I guess we enter it on June 24th or after. Okay, if an employee is AC, because that is what they have to be, but are in reality a non-benefited TL, do, do we have the option not to give the 1% increase? I would just... Uh, if you have a special case like that, I would just contact me. It, it really depends on what the funding is. And so if we need to look in and see who is really funded for something, let's talk about those special exceptions. Another question about when the webinar will be available on the gateway. We're hoping to, I've got uh, Will here. He's really good at editing all of my mistakes. And uh, so he's going to take this webinar and uh, edit it. We should have it in at least maybe tomorrow or the next day. It should be soon. So the question is, do you, do you know the agencies who receive funding for the IN and TL non-benefited, or do we just need to ask them? This was a big um, conversation we had with GOMB. Some of them were, did actually receive uh, funding. Um, this, is a, this, is coming, this question is coming from DABC. I'm pretty confident that the non-benefited INs did receive funding for that, but I would, I would ask, uh, coordinate with your agency budget 
individuals who could tell you for sure. But with DABC, I think that they did receive the funding. Uh, the question is, are, are you planning to prepare the comp bulletin? And, and yes, the comp bulletin is, is almost finished. We just need to re review it, and, and it should be out within this uh, the next couple of days as well on the employee gateway. I don't see any other questions that, that came in. If you did have any other questions, then go ahead and email me. Hopefully work with you through this process. We will be, we will be sending, again, um, the spreadsheet for you to look at and identify which employees you want to have, which non-benefited INTLs you would like to have the automatic processing for. Oh, a, a question came up that just came in, actually. Um, if an employee can um, put the bonus into a 401k, and uh, yes, yes, they can. We do have a, a form for that, Barbara. There's a form on the gateway that, uh, that will allow them to take that money and put it into the, to a 401k if they're eligible to get that bonus. Okay, so one final thing that I that I heard from Kay on that, she did say that um, June 21st at 11 a.m. it will actually be going down. HRE will be going down at 11 a.m. And on June 24th at 8 a.m. is when it will actually come back up. So there isn't uh, kind of a grace period there. It will be going down at 11 a.m. on June 21st. All right, I want to thank everyone for participating in our webinar today. We will have, this will be recorded and we'll, we'll send that out that uh, need to, to see it and weren't, weren't able to view the webinar today. Another question that came in, state jobs will be going down. Apparently the job site will be up. It's a period of time you will not be able to create or screen recruitments or jobs at that, at that period. So it's not going to go down, but you will be restricted on uh, reviewing applications. All right, thank you, everyone, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you again.